Hello and welcome to our video series on integration of digital material in teaching. In this video, we'll be focusing on Genially and all its useful and interesting features. Genially is an easy-to-use software that lets you add lots of interactive elements to your presentations. And it's free. There is a premium level, but even with the free version, you can create unlimited content and have access to tons of templates. To get your free account, just go to genially.com and simply sign up with your email address to get started. Let's log in together. Once you are in the dashboard, on the left side of the screen, there is a toolbar. You can create your presentation by clicking Create Genially. On Creations, you can access things you've been created. And here is trash bin where you can restore your creations, brand kits, a place where you can make your own logo and so on, but it's not free. In the inspiration section, you can weave presentations created by other users. And if they allow you, you can use them as templates. Let's click on create genially. You can create presentations, infographics, gamification, interactive image, video, and so on. You can create a genially from scratch by choosing the blank creation option at the bottom of the toolbar. Or browse the different types of templates or use the search bar to quickly find what you need. If you click on the thumbnail of the template, you'll see its content structure and the pages it contains. That way you can see at a glance if it matches what you want to create. If you like it, click use this template. You can click select all to use all of the pages on the presentation or just click the pages you want to use on that presentation. Click add at the bottom of the pop-up page. There's a toolbar at the left side of the page. You can add text image, resources, interactive elements, smart blocks, insert audio, video, and other things from links. You can set background and you can see all of the pages of the presentation. You can reorder the pages by dragging and dropping them. I will add text and the edit once already exist in the whole presentation. I'm gonna show just one of them. Let's click on text. You can delete a text by clicking on it and clicking on the trash bin and you can choose a style from here. Now let's add an interactive element. First choose the page you want to add an interactive element. Click on interactive elements. You can add buttons, interactive questions, markers, social networks, numbers or you can just add an interactive area. I want to add an interactive area. Just drag the interactive area and add an interactivity. You can add tooltip, window, go to page, link, audio. And at the end, you can reveal what you've done. I want to add go to page. When someone click on the interactive area I added, I want to go to this page, choose the page and click on save. Now I want to add a video. First I'm going to choose the page I want to add video. Click on insert, click on video here and paste the link here. Then click on this icon and arrange the video here. You can also edit video settings by clicking here. On the right side, another menu opened. Also, you can add interactivity or video. I'm going to add that interactive element to this page. First, I want to add a home button. You can replace it by dragging it and click on this icon to add the interactivity. I want to add a go to page again. I want to go to index page. And save. Also, you can make any item draggable. Choose the item you want to draggable. Click on this icon on the toolbar here. Now it is draggable. All of the things you have done is automatically saved. You can check it here. 
When you have done all the arrangements with your Genially, you can click on the present button on the right side of the page and do the arrangements you like and click all set. Let's see what we have done. We have added interactive area here. You can click and play the video. Let's go to home page again. We add clickable area also. Yeah, we can drag and drop this text. Now you know how to use Genially. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more video education content.